Here are the best five and a half ideas on how to make money online even as a beginner, with zero money to invest. In this video, I will share all the ideas based on these two questions. How long does it take you to generate your first thousand dollars with it? And how hard it is to learn the skills for this method? And we will use these little stars to give the rating from five stars being the easiest and fastest way to one star requiring more time and effort. Let's start with the method number five. Create and sell digital products. What are digital products? Well, they're anything that can be created on your computer or sometimes even just on your smartphone and delivered to your customers via the internet. Products could range from an ebook on how to potty train your toddler to a digital marketing course, an application, a website, a landing page template, graphic design templates, Excel templates, and so on. If you decide to create a digital product, I promise you can make your first thousand dollars pretty fast, especially with video courses, because typically they sell above two hundred dollars for enrollment. So you will need only five clients to buy your course to make a thousand dollars. I also think that this method can be relatively easy in terms of learning new skills, because if you decide to share your knowledge or skills and package it into a digital product, it should be easy for you, because you're sharing knowledge and information in which you're already an expert. If you ask me, creating a video course might help you earn your first thousand dollars faster than an ebook or some kind of low cost product like templates, for instance. But it will take you more time and effort to create a video course because it's not so easy for everyone to speak in front of a camera. And then you also need to edit your videos. But the good news is you can start recording your course even from your laptop and using your headset instead of a professional microphone. But still creating ebooks and templates will take you less effort and you can totally do it even in Canva. It's a free graphic design tool that works in your browser. I already have a video on my channel showing how to use Canva to sell ebooks and I will link that video up there and in the description down below. When it comes to the platforms to deliver your digital products to customers, Customers, we live in the times when it's super easy. Anyone can start selling digital products even for free. Many platforms will provide you the complete infrastructure for selling digital products, including a shopping cart, an online store and payment processing. And as I mentioned, many of these platforms will offer you all of this without any monthly fees. I recently published a video covering the best platforms where you can sell your digital products. You will find the link up there and in the description down below. So I will give to selling digital products the five stars for both of the factors, the time to make your first thousand dollars and for the skill sets required. Now, the next method of making money online is what empowered me to escape my miserable life working at a corporate job and gave me unlimited new opportunities. It's making money on Pinterest. You can start your Pinterest account <laughs> absolutely for free. And by growing your audience on Pinterest, you can get paid in many different ways. The first way is the easiest. All you need is a Pinterest account and Canva to create simple pin images. Then you can create pins and link them to affiliate products directly. When someone clicks on your pins, they will visit the product page. And if they make a purchase through your link, you will earn a commission. As you noticed, for this method, you don't need to worry about creating your website or paying for a hosting provider. For the ease of achieving your first thousand dollars with this method, I will give it about two stars because it can take several months for your pins on a new account to get some traction on Pinterest. But when it comes to the level of skill set, I think it's pretty easy and deserves four stars because even if you don't have any graphic design skills, in Canva you can use thousands of pin templates to create professionally looking images with text overlay. As I mentioned, I am rating this method with four stars for the skills that you need to learn and you might ask me why not the five stars? Isn't it easy to use Canva templates and just upload images on Pinterest? Well, yes and no. Anyone can make an account on Pinterest in a minute and just start uploading whatever images they want. But here is where it gets tricky standing out on Pinterest because it's so easy to start 
thousands of pins are uploaded on the platform daily. Competition is getting higher every year with more creators on Pinterest. And if you are still in doubt, definitely start your Pinterest account today and your chances for success will be higher. Also, if you want to really get into the 10% of the most successful Pinterest accounts, you need to know what you're doing on the platform. Just uploading images is not enough you need to learn about Pinterest SEO, search engine optimization, and you need to add the right keywords to your pins and your boards on Pinterest. And the best place to start is my free Pinterest masterclass. Check the link to that masterclass in the top right corner and in the description down below. The next way is managing social media accounts for others. Many small business owners know how important it is to be active on social media networks, but their problem is time and lack of skills. They have much more on their plate to do and they really need some help, someone to handle their social media accounts. And that someone could be you. A pack of services to manage several platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest could include things like creating and scheduling posts for different platforms, interacting with followers, creating graphics to be used in your social media posts, tracking their clients' analytics and their growth of the accounts and so on. The best part about this income stream is that most of your clients will pay you for many months. And if you achieve for them the results that they hoped for, they will work with you maybe even for years. Because once you gain their trust, it's much easier for your clients to keep working with the same social media manager to avoid sharing access to their business accounts with new people and training new people all over again. At the start of this career, it can be a bit challenging because you need to actively look for new clients and this marketing activity will take a part of your working day. But the great news is that once you are booked with several long-term clients, you can focus on the work and forget about promoting your services for a while. If you're good at what you do, your clients will be happy to give you nice testimonials. Once you have a bunch of them on your portfolio page, new clients will reach out to you without any effort on your side. Plus, word of mouth works really like a magic. I've seen how it works in Facebook groups when someone asks for a recommendation of a good social media manager. Small business owners happily share their positive experiences and even share the contacts of their social media managers. To understand how much you can charge for your services, I recommend you to Google some of your competitors and see what exactly they include in their packages, which social networks they manage for clients, how many posts they create per month, and so on. Many newbie social media managers charge approximately $25 to $35 an hour to start. And normally, you will need to spend between 10 to 20 hours per month working on each client. This means that each client could be paying you between $250 and $700 per month just to start with. Based on this, I would rate this money-making idea with four stars for the ease of making your first thousand dollars a month, and you will need just a couple of clients to reach that number. I think the easiest way to start and find your first clients is by charging an hourly rate, and later on, once you have some portfolio and testimonials, you could increase your earnings per client by offering packages of services instead of hourly rates. Usually, these packages are more scalable, you can have more clients on packages and can charge more for this work, because packages will specify all that's included and it makes it more difficult for your clients to stretch the boundaries and ask you to do more work in the same amount of time. For the ease of learning the skills, I would give this idea about three stars, because you will need to learn how to optimize graphics and content for several different platforms. So it's not like you can become the best expert in this in just two days. But as I mentioned, when you are starting, you can charge a lower fee or an hourly rate. And as you learn more in the process of working with your first clients and you improve your skill set, you can gradually increase your rates. The next idea is to make money online with affiliate marketing. This one can be very scalable in the long run. I can tell you that I had promotions as an affiliate for a few high-ticket programs and I made over $8,000 in one campaign and over $12,000 in another. And each promotion took only about a week. 
So in both cases, I didn't have to create the products. I didn't have to provide support to the people who purchase those products through my affiliate links. And that's what I like the most about affiliate marketing. Your only work is to promote the products that someone else created, and they are responsible for customer support. The commission size depends on the affiliate program and the product being sold. And for many high ticket products, commissions reach between 20 and 40%. So you can often make hundreds or even thousands of dollars for each client that you referred. Now, things to keep in mind when you do affiliate marketing. First, you need to follow the regulations and make affiliate disclaimers according to the laws of the country where you live and also based on where the majority of your audience lives. These rules and requirements may be different for each country, but if you want to be safe for sure, just adding a disclosure next to the promoted product is definitely worth it. As an affiliate marketer, it's good to promote a bunch of products with a recurring commission. This typically works with software products that have a monthly fee. Initially, your income from affiliate marketing can be quite unstable, keeping that in mind. But the more of those recurring commissions you get, the more passive and stable your affiliate income becomes over time. Another thing to remember is that your key to success in affiliate marketing is building trust with your audience. In this sense, providing value with your free content, building a community of real fans on your social media, and building your email list are the best strategies to work on for building a consistent income with affiliate marketing. The really difficult part about being a successful affiliate marketer is that you need to have an audience. It can be your email list, your blog, your YouTube channel, Instagram account, and so on. I would say it's easy to start making money with affiliate marketing if you happen to have this foundation, your audience. If you do have an audience, you could earn commissions right away, in a matter of hours, basically. Let's say you joined an affiliate program and you have your email list. You just send a promotional email and in a few hours, you can make your first commissions. But if you don't have an audience, it will take you more time because you first need to build it. So we'll have to rate affiliate marketing with about three stars for the time needed to earn your first thousand dollars. As for the skills required to make a decent income with affiliate marketing, I think nothing is easier. So it's five stars out of five, because in most cases, the brands that you promote will provide you with graphics, with content ideas. For high ticket products, it's even very common to provide email swipes. So all you need to do is just edit the swipes, adjust them a little bit for your audience and for your style. And you can make money online by sharing your expertise and experience in the form of consultations. I'll tell you, this method here is number one, because I give it five stars for the ease of making your first thousand dollars and for the ease of learning the skills. Why? Well, because here you can make your first thousand dollars on the very first day if you take two or three calls with your clients. And because you don't need to learn any skills, this income stream is based on what you already know. Let's say you worked in a particular industry for a while, you are an expert in this area, but that's not it. You also probably already have some contacts in the industry that might help you land your first few clients. And depending on the niche, there could be different platforms and communities to find your clients. For many industries, I would assume you could be in some Facebook groups already where people often ask for help or look for a specialist in your niche. For example, as a full-time blogger, I'm a part of several Facebook groups where established publishers often ask each other for recommendations of the best SEO consultant, the best website speed specialist, and so on. For some industries, LinkedIn can also be a great place to connect with people and build up your profile for lending more work. Now, remember, I promised you a bonus idea. Here you go. This idea is to become a content creator. This could mean to be a blogger and grow your website traffic or to be an influencer on Instagram, YouTube or Facebook. Just pick one platform and one format of content that you enjoy creating most. Personally, I started with just a blog and now I'm also a YouTuber. But this idea doesn't get the best starts for the time of making your first thousand dollars because you definitely need time to build your audience and creating content is not easy. I'll give it two stars on the time to earn your first thousand dollars and three stars for the skill set. You see, for a long form blog post, 
that has a chance to rank well in Google search results. I challenge you to write it in less than four hours of deep work. It would take me about that amount of time. And for a good video on YouTube that takes you just 10 to 15 minutes to watch, it can easily take a full working day or even two days between writing an outline, recording the video, editing the content, doing keyword research and publishing it with all the SEO in tags to give it a chance to rank on YouTube. But the good news is your income potential is very high and to a certain degree, your earnings get more and more passive over time if you optimize your content to rank in search on Google or YouTube. Because high rankings mean that your old content can consistently get visitors for months or even years to come. Also, I have to mention here that it may take longer to earn your first thousand dollars, but the income potential with this method is really impressive. You can build a multi-million dollar personal brand like the famous influencers. And if you're lucky, this can even happen with just a few years. I'm not in the league of seven-figure influencers yet, but even I had some really good months. For example, this one when I made forty thousand dollars with my blogging business. Check the video where I shared that income report up there and also in the description below. Now, if you want to learn how to grow your website traffic for free using Pinterest, check up there my video about the best strategies that allow me to get over 10 million monthly viewers on this platform. I also manually picked for you a couple of other videos and you can check them out here and there. And I'll see you in the next one.